When it's something that has like quite a lot of risk, quite a lot of planning to it, the obvious thing is fear straight away. When you see a movement or a jump or an opportunity for movement somewhere, your heart rate starts to race. In the middle of the movement, the emotions are more of like stillness and focus. Once you've like engaged into the movement, once you've taken off from the jump or once you've started to do the somersault, your focus is just on like, what cognitively do I have to do here? So it is like a really still space actually. It's quite nice, it's quite freeing. I started training about 2005. I trained it by myself for a couple of years. My first performance piece in 2010 for Mercedes-Benz doing a corporate van launch. That was probably one of the first moments that I went, oh, I can actually make a living off of this instead of it just being a pastime. That was the start of something. I just wanted to follow it after that. My dad got me a trampoline when I was younger. He got me into a trampoline club. From the trampoline club, I went to the gymnastics club. From the gymnastics club, I did a bit of martial arts. From martial arts to dance, and then from dance to cheerleading. And I just kind of gathered a lot of different skills. And thereafter, the jobs started to come in that were more tailored towards circus artists. And luckily enough, I found the right people. I found a troupe of professionals that were training on a regular basis. From that, I did a funded course for circus which was a part of the Commonwealth Games actually, so that was my get in. That's when I first thought, okay, that is this circus? Yeah, I suppose it is. A circus to me isn't the vision of a lion tamer with a whip. If you take out the animal and the, the, the animal abuse and all the, the stuff that comes with that, and that was something that that person trained to do because it looked entertaining. That's no different from what I do. I've trained a skill that people like to watch and I've now put it onto stage and put it into to venues and it into a location so that circus to me so i think modern day circus in my mind is you train a skill that looks nice or is fun to watch and uh, maybe inclusive with an audience and you practice it until you're sick of it and then you go you're going you're going to do it and get paid for it i'm sure there's a lot of others that agree with me that circus is definitely changing it's going more into the realms of freelance acting performing singing, dancing, rather than it being so much about big top traveling caravans and that sort of thing. People are like, oh, would you like to work for Cirque du Soleil or be like this massive performer all over the world? Yeah, sh uh, sure, I think it would be fun. I would definitely try it out for a small while if I could, but it's not like my long-term goal or anything. I think that's important about long-term goals that it shouldn't be too set in stone because you should always be able to adapt and change. And circus is helping with that because I'm meeting a lot of people that have got interest and talents. And most of them are like, this is my passion, but I can't make a living off of it. But I think you can, just, there's a way. There's just a way. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. There's a way to make it work. And for the last 10 years, I've been trying and, and succeeding. I mean, I can afford to pay my rent, pay my bills, get food. I might not have a car or have all these fancy expenses, but in, in my way, I'm doing it. Full-time performer, acrobat, coach, yeah. <laughs>